slowed due to the budget cuts from Governor Corbett. Um, my biggest concern is with raising classroom size. Um, it's very hard to provide every child with one-on-one -on -one individual instruction. You try to give each one as much as you possibly can, but the more students you put in the classroom, the tougher it's going to be. We've been having a lot of uh, layoffs and cutbacks and furloughs. Um, it just puts more pressure on everybody. It causes the job not to be done as well as it possibly can be, even though you're putting your best step forward. First off, I was one of those consequences. I was originally a seventh grade teacher in another building. I was moved to this building to fill a position that had been furloughed. We have classrooms, elementary classrooms, sitting at close to 30, 28 to 32, 33 students. Uh, we didn't have any teacher cuts, thank God, but we did have teachers retire and we didn't replace them. So now we have students who need the adult uh, leading when they come here and it's they don't have it. It's not a small teacher to student ratio. It's definitely, the, the progress that the students are making is definitely going to backslide because those students are now not going to be able to have that needed extra help. Our tutoring program is basically non-existent at this point. Right now, our class sizes have increased. Um, in my case, my class size has increased from my average six to seven students. Um, and so I'm now rising, I'm coming here 30 students. A lot of kids come with a lot of needs and uh, just find I'm scrambling to try to meet their needs. After school tutoring programs, well, well no, we don't have that program anymore. Achievement will go down this year. There's no doubt in my mind. I don't see how it can not drop. Last year we had we had 342 teachers in our bargaining unit. This year we have 311. I would like to believe that we can make continue to make strides even with the cuts. I mean because that would be in the best interest of the students. However, I'm fearful of uh, what may happen if we're not using these same sort of approaches and the class sizes as they were in the past. We lost our credit recovery program in our school. Uh, through the cuts, we lost one position in our building, so that that program has been eliminated completely and the kids have lost that opportunity. Well, the class sizes have gotten a lot larger and instead of a teacher having 25 to 28 students, they're now up to at least 30 to 33. In my building um, alone, we furloughed um, approximately 30 teachers last year. Our scores on PSSAs have consistently gone up every year since we've been keeping track of them. Now we seem to be turning the corner, heading back to what we already proved didn't work. There are just too many students for one person to get to. Now you might have 25 students who need individual attention, but you only have so many minutes in the class. 